All right, so I'm out here doing a little more Pell work. Um, Upper New Hampshire, we finally lost a lot of our snow, but it's still freezing out here. Uh, so I'm gonna make this video quick. Uh, as you can see, I'm working my sword and shield today. Uh, what I'm working on particularly is throwing shield strikes and kicks. Why am I doing that? Because Armored Combat Sports just changed its rules for duels. We are now allowed to throw shield punch to the face and throw kicks in a duel. Uh, this is a controversial move. We had some people would have posted up really happy with this idea. Some people hate it. They think it changes the dynamic um, and the rules. The international community doesn't have shield punching, so people are training for international fights. It might be a disadvantage for them. Really don't know. Um, where do I stand on it? Uh, I stand on the side that I love it. I think having a more dynamic fight with more things to worry about is more interesting. People say, well, why don't you just have a pro fight or a night fight? Uh, because in the end, this is still the only thing that counts for points. So shield punches and kicks are distractions but someone can't just overpower me and punch me a lot with it, they're not gonna get any points. They have to land those strikes. They still have to be a good swordsman. Uh, it also brings the line closer to the other dueling formats. Long sword allows kicking, it allows punching, uh, even though again, you don't get points for those. Um, sword and shield's the only one that doesn't. And for me, like I said, it allows me to have one more tool in my tool belt. Uh, I'm not going to get points for those punches, but I can throw someone's you know, head back, distract them, land a couple strikes. I can make them hesitate, can get myself out of situations. Uh, I like the kick aspect um, because it is now a full body fight instead of just an upper body fight, essentially. I have to worry about someone's legs and they have to worry about mine. So again, ways to make it more dynamic. Uh, I just had a duel last weekend against Brandon uh, Ross in the St. Paddy's du uh, Day duel. And... Um, we were fighting sword and shield and i only have this punch shield right now he had a nice big heater shield and he had a little bit of advantage at first uh if his sword broke he'd do something different but he had an advantage at first uh for sure with the shields in particular um his covered a lot more space mine covered less and that's just frankly a better thing to bring and i'm gonna make myself a heater shield now to, to use for duels but i do feel like under the, these rule sets uh, that are changed my punch shield would have been a little more equal. Uh, he would have had to respect that punch coming in there real strong. Uh, even though it's a little less defensive, now it's a little more offensive. Versus heater shield, it's harder to throw those punches with. Um, so it kind of, again, mixes up, makes you... We're going to see maybe the meta change a little bit on what people use in sword and shield. I don't know. I think you're still going to see people revert to the largest shield they can get away with. Um, in a duel when the only thing that counts is the weapon strikes but i'm really excited i think it's a good change it makes my training uh, more dynamic because i train punches and kicks and everything else when i'm fighting sword and shield because if i'm in a melee and i'm fighting with a falchion in a shield uh, i'm gonna kick and punch and throw and everything right so i like that um, i think again it keeps us uh, separated away from that whole kind of fencing side of the of swords work, which is fantastic, but not what we do. Uh, the whole idea and the thing that I love about armored combat is the ability to use everything in my tool belt. Everything that I have on me, I can use. So now I feel like this has become something um, better for me to use. It's not just a guarding thing. It's something that I can throw that strike, come in and whap right there to the head, snap the head back, and while they're recovering, leg shots, hip shots, arm shots, whatever I want to get. So I'm all for it. It's a relatively quick video. Uh, if you want to see other videos, have more questions, clarifications, certain trainings you want to learn about, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, message me, follow me on Facebook. Um, and other big news, I'm kind of putting this little spoiler, is there's going to be a, a website coming soon with t-shirts you can buy and other uh, paraphernalia for Woodchuck Night. So look forward to seeing that coming uh, in the next month or so as we kind of flesh out some of the designs. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see on that website, uh, you can also leave a comment and let me know. Again, I'm Woodchuck Knight. My job here is to help bring you uh, the best basic ex understanding of this sport, the simp simple uh, training techniques and uh, simple explanations of it so for people who are getting into it or want to learn a little bit more. If it's too windy out here today, I apologize. Um, it's just we're outside and we're training. So I'm going to go back to it, keep throwing some more shots, keep that training going, uh, and then uh, follow for more.